Okay, question for both of you. Mm -hmm. uh, you've done Swai Jiao, you've done Sambo, so meaning the, the, mm -hmm. the full jacket. Uh, I don't know about your no gi experience and also both, obviously. Mm -hmm. Which would you say is the most complicated uh, grip fighting? Both. For each other, yeah. Yeah, I would say it's the most complex because it has so many. It has so many places to grab, and they're they're so unusual. Now, what's interesting? I would actually see no. I would say nogi is the easiest because you don't have to be you don't have to be good, like so technical. If you have certain attributes like speed and power, you can get away with not being that great, mm -hmm. at, in terms of like gripping, right? Tackle the legs. Hey, hey, hey! You can just tackle you the legs. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So like with no gi, like for instance, as long as I know how to do a collar tie and I can also grab your legs and know certain tricks, um, you know, I can get away. Oh, hold on one second. Can you put her up? My dog is gonna run through. I don't want her to knock over this stuff. Um, so with no gi, like for instance, from, from my personal training uh, and my experiences, I'm pretty good at no, no gi. Even when I go with a lot of Mongolians, I can, I can do some work, right? Um, but it's not like I have the most superior gripping. I actually apply my swai jiao Mongolian wrestling gripping to the nogi, because they kind of go straight into it. And but actually, I don't have to be as sharp because I don't have like the jacket. They can't just hold me. So you can kind of slide out of stuff much easier, right? You can kind of be like I said. If you're athletic with nogi, it goes a lot further than being uh, athletic with a with a gi yeah. with a jacket, yeah. right? Um, but I would say Mongolian wrestling. The reason why I say it's so hard. It's so unusual, the, some of the gripping that in other jacket styles you learn, you don't learn those grips specifically. Yes, yes. So when you're doing it, you're like, this is like the first, you know, wow, you're going to be like, this is really strange. But what I will say about it, too, is you can apply those to other styles. Mm -hmm. So if you actually get good at Mongolian wrestling, you actually end up having more understanding of different grips than if you just trained in one of these other styles where they kind of have a pattern, right? Like Chinese wrestling, judo, sambo, kind of have a, I mean, they have they have diversity depending on if you're from Central Asia, Georgia, whatever, Russia, but it's kind of the same old same, old, yeah. right? So if you add the Mongolian wrestling to it with the gripping, like we just saw the Swai Jiao competition two days ago, and half of the Mongolians were doing Mongolian grips with Swai Jiao. I've never seen that before. Like if, if you were to see that in America or Europe, in the Swajal school, they'd, if, say, they'd say you're doing things wrong. They would say you're doing it wrong. Yeah. But it's because the Mongolians were just using Swajal and their wrestling within Swajal. So they were grabbing like this right. from, from back from back here. Yes. They weren't just grabbing in the sleeve. They were literally grabbing this like it's a Mongolian wrestling jacket and just holding it. And I was like, oh, interesting. Like, that's I think that's a big a big pro to this uh, to the jacket work. But again, I've trained in Judo, Sambo, Swajal. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I will say, I never had a harder time learning grip work than in Mongolian wrestling because it's just so much, man. Like I said, it's the opposite. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like when I was doing more, uh, when I was doing more MMA, when I was doing a lot, because I, I haven't done no gi in a non MMA setting, like say a no gi Jiu Jitsu or things like that. I've just done it in MMA setting or strikes and all that stuff too. But I noticed that mm, aggression and explosiveness with good enough technique can often carry the day uh, in, 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 in no gi because your ability to control that person's movements are, without having to apply a whole lot of body pressure, mm -hmm. are very fleeting. Like maybe you have one moment where you can frame against them here, yes. move them, whatever, try yes. to get the leg, but once you're in by the body, someone's got a, a lock on you, whether it's your leg, your waist, or something. And and if they're more athletic than you, uh, so that's 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 a rough day, right? You have to have so much better timing and technique to get out of. Whereas if you have uh, clothing grips, now you're able to stuff certain things that normally you wouldn't be able to get that level of control for that long. Yes. And then on top of that, with the jada, this style jada. The, uh, leather jelly we're talking about for this style of going wrestling. It's not only jack grips, it's 
very intricate jack grips. It's very unique jack grips, but it's very unique jack grips that also exist at the range of that you normally work at in no yeah. So it's giving you certain nuances and options that you might not normally explore in nogi but if you explore it in mongolian wrestling and apply to nogi it's like giving you an extra layer of understanding that you other people aren't developing and let me let me ask you this question have you ever wrestled a guy or, or you know sparred uh, you know, judo and a guy just with both hands just grabbed your belt uh just like you Jiu-jitsu guys do that, but they just usually to push me away, because, not because they have some type of skill. That's what I'm saying. Or you got one here, and the other guys, he got one grip here. It's annoying. Let's just put it this way. But so, with Mongolian wrestling, there's some guys that can literally do 10 techniques from that one position. They will just hold you. They won't, they'll just, they won't even do it. They'll just latch on to you like this, and then just do techniques from any belt grip. They could have their hands here. They could have it here, 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 here. Yes. So many different ways. And how do you deal with that? So I think with the variety, with that, so many options, you just have so much more to work with. Yes, it's not you know? like and, and have to and have to learn how to deal with. It. Yes, every type of grip is not just like a a move or a pattern. Mm -hmm. Every type of grip has a whole series of strategies and everything yes. that's attached to it. When you talk about Mongolian wrestling, and like you're saying, you kind of have to know it all. You might not be personally good at every single one, but you have to know how to deal with. All of them. There's a there's a grip right now where they literally some of the bigger guys they like this they'll grab here some chick and they'll grab here yeah so like this and you you're thinking that's so awkward like some of them will grow around okay this is not that like or or, or sorry or they'll grab like this like almost like a like record Bench head lock. but yes but no they literally go like this and if you think I can just grab man I've seen them. <laughs> pick Whoa. dudes up and just yes. launch them yes. and i tried it i'm like this is so awkward but you gotta learn how to deal with that right mm -hmm. so it, yeah man there's just so much man every year i honestly every year i see like new stuff because not only do you have book now you're having high level judokas and sambis and whatever freestyle guys swajo guys coming and adding a little bit different flavors yes and mongolians aren't like a lot of other people are like, oh, that's not pure Mongolian wrestling. We don't do that. No, they like it. If it works, it's like, oh, come bring that shit. They love judo. They love all that stuff. Yeah. Bring it in. It works. But show, show me how to do it, you know? So it's really a, the, the intricate. It, it's, it has the timing. It has the intricate details to it because of the uh, unorthodox type of gripping, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, also, there is strength, but there is no strength at the same time. And the yes. ranges, the different ranges. Yes. Because yes. you're kind of gripping his arm, but you're also gripping the the yes. uh, opening in the jacket. Yes. And also, you're close to him, but you can also be away from him. And yes, yes. Because once you grip, it's not like judo. There's there's quite some slack. So it's when you yes. grip, you're actually like gripping him, but through something mm. else. The jacket, imagine the your imagine your skin and your muscles had holes in them. 